You get IT band pain down the side of your leg, quad tightness, well, look no further. I'm going to give you a couple tips of how you can fix it at home. Hey guys, Dr. Will here, chiropractor at Miami Spine and Performance in Hollywood, Florida. New location here over the last month. Um, I've been seeing a lot of patients with IT band tightness. This is a muscle that I work on a lot. Same with the quads. Usually they're coming in and when I start putting my hands on their quads and their IT band, they're about to scream and jump off the table and tackle me sometimes. So I'm going to try to give you guys some pointers on how you can open up your IT band at home. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a foam roller. Okay. I'm a big proponent of foam rolling. I think it's a great way to warm up. Of course, it's not a substitute for a good therapist, a good doctor, a good professional. But for something to do at home on a regular basis, killer tool, super cheap and affordable. So we're going to start with actually rolling up by the glute. So a lot of the IT band tightness actually comes from a muscle called the tensor fascia lata, TFL, right here on the glute, super tight. And the way we're going to get to this muscle is I'm going to actually get into like a pigeon pose like so, and I'm going to sit right like where my pocket is, right? And as soon as you get on the foam roller, you'll start to feel it's just kind of nasty in there. It's gritty. And for everybody, you kind of have to move around and find that optimal spot and just roll and mash. There's also nothing wrong with just hanging out, right? So if I find a really tight spot, sometimes I'll just hang out right on that spot. So no rolling, no movement, okay? And what I recommend is you guys spend a minute or two just digging through this stuff and just mashing, getting, getting that tension um, out of there, okay? Once we feel like we're able to put some pressure on that area without discomfort, then we'll go down and we'll get on the IT band. Now the best way to roll the IT band is going to be to keep this bottom leg straight and the top leg bent, okay? So I'll go like this and I'll just roll up and down. For those of you that are really adventurous, you can stack your legs and put your whole body weight right on the foam roller. All right, if you really like pain, that's a good way to do it. Additionally, you can Flex and extend your leg from here, so I'll find like a gritty spot and I'll just flex and extend back and forth, okay? The last thing that I'll do is I'll kind of work the quad. So a lot of times where the IT band and the quad come together, this little ridge gets really nasty, full of trigger points, full of scar tissue. So what I'll do is I'll lie face down on the foam roller. I'll turn my feet in towards each other, so I'm kind of getting on the lateral quad, and then I'll just... Flex and extend like that. Okay, and then I'll roll up a little bit. Flex and extend. I'll roll down. Flex and extend. So I'm a big fan of incorporating movement, of course. You can just come through here and just mash away at all this. It'll probably feel pretty good or pretty bad, depending on uh, if you're a glutton for punishment. But come here and roll through the quads. Like I said, guys, Minute or two here, another minute here, another minute here, and you'll be feeling a lot looser, right? So after we do the foam rolling and we get all that kind of yucky scar tissue, trigger point, tenderness out of there, now it's time to do a little bit of stretching, old school static stretching. And again, guys, this type of routine, not necessarily appropriate for pre-workout. This is a better thing to do on an off day, do it in the evening, do it in the morning, away from your workout. First stretch we're gonna do is we're gonna do an elevated pigeon here, okay? I really like this stretch because it's a good way to get to the glute, but also to hit that whole lateral side of the hip and the leg. And what I'll do is I'll sit back and incorporate some movement. So instead of just hanging out here, taking some deep breaths, that's fine and all, but I always like to kind of move because when you move, you kind of move the tissue around, you bring blood flow. So I'll lean forward and lean backward. Forward. Backward, I'll turn, right? So you just gotta do some exploring here, guys. You gotta find where that tightness is at and then just, just live there for a second. So right here, I'm feeling a great stretch. Right on the side, right where that TFL is. Again, guys, a minute or two on each side. Just dig through, stretch it out after your foam roller. Once we've kind of worked that out, we'll get to the TFL another way, kind of through the anterior chain. So what I'll do here is I will get into this half kneeling pose. So we'll stick with the, I'll do the right side. I'll use the foam roller for balance. And then I'll come forward and I'll reach overhead. So what I'm doing is I'm stretching the whole front of the hip, but I'm also getting to the lateral hip by reaching overhead. And I'm almost 
bending my hip in that direction. Okay, and what that's doing is it's going to open up that whole lateral side of the hip, lateral chain, I can come forward. And again, you really have to surf around in these positions, find where you're feeling the best stretch. It's going to be different for everybody. But again, I'll spend another minute or two here, just kind of reaching and exploring that whole lateral hip. The final stretch I'm going to do is my all-time favorite stretch, probably the number one stretch that I recommend to patients, and that's going to be the couch stretch. Okay. So with the couch stretch, all you need is you do want to put some kind of pad or pillow under your knee, and then you just need an elevated surface. Okay. From here, you're going to get on a knee, you're going to prop this back leg up, and sit back on your heel. So if you have never done the couch stretch before, you'll probably feel a massive, massive stretch on the front of the quad and the hip flexor, okay? And this is one where, again, you can kind of explore around or you can just hang out. The more upright you keep your posture and the more you sit back, the more you're gonna bias the quad. The more you go forward, the more you're gonna bias the hip flexor. But to me, this is kind of the ultimate quad IT band hip flexor stretch where you can really get a lot of good work done. And if, if you're somebody that's, you know, you're sitting all day, right, you're sitting at your desk, your quads are always in the shortened position. Hip flexors are always short. So to be able to do something where you're kind of coming up and you're opening all this stuff is going to feel really great, guys. So, again, all you need, foam roller, pad, some kind of elevated surface. Get on the, the hip, the IT band, and the quad one to two minutes each. Hit that pigeon stretch, elevated pigeon, hit the hip flexor stretch, and then get to the couch stretch. So within 10 or 15 minutes, I'm telling you guys, your hips, your quads, your knees are going to feel like brand new. So give it a try. Uh, comment if you tried or send a DM. Uh, we'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching, guys.